Okay, so today we're taking a look at the bed and some electronics that are associated with that. So over here is my bed, just leaning up against the printer with the Filofarm silicon bed heater on it. With this is the Silly Protect. I don't know why they call it Silly Protect because it's not very silly, it's actually very sensible. Presumably it's silicon protection or something, but so out of the bed, whatever aluminium, out of the bed, you've got four wires. Well, you've got sort of three regions. So the first is the thermocouple. I've added this extra sleeve just to give it some reinforcement, but it's two little black wires and a tiny connector. I can't remember if it came with a tiny connector or not, but I've added a tiny connector if it didn't. And next you have the ground wire. This is a single wire. And lastly, you have the live and neutral, which in Europe, or is it just the UK? Well, in the UK, it's brown and blue, and the earth is yellow, yellow-green. Always yellow and green, actually. So, where do they go? Well, thermistor, obviously, straight to the control board. The control board's just going to be looking at whatever temperature is read from the thermocouple, which presumably is that tiny little bit right there. There you go. That's the first problem. Second is the ground. The ground goes straight to the power supply. So we've got this little container for that. And I'll show you in there in detail later. But the ground, straight to the ground on the power supply. The ground on the power supply comes straight in from the ground to the connection to the wall. So that is grounded directly to, you know, ground. And lastly, the live and neutral wires, they come into this. This is the SSR box. So this is the SSR control box. Hopefully you can see there, there's two blues and two browns. The blues go across the terminals of the Fostex SSR and the browns connect to each other. So the way that SSR works is that when the black and red on this side have a voltage across them, they connect the two blues on the other side. Do not collect, connect brown to blue, blue to brown, cross them over or anything like that. I'll show you a diagram of how this should be connected up. You can also see there on the Fostec SSR, just by the positive on the 3 to 32 volt side, there's a little light. And that little light shows you when it's on. So when you place the cover on and you screw it down, you should be able to see the little light in there and you'll know that that's working. I've done that just literally so you know that it's working. If it stops flashing when you think it should be, then something's not right. At the other end of the SSR box, you have this. This is the control voltage for the SSR. So this would go to your control board in the position where the bed normally connects to. I can't remember which one it is off the top of my head, but this connection, so in a normal configuration without an SSR, the using the MOSFET, it would literally control the current through, does it control the current or does it control the voltage? Either way, it controls the power to the bed. So that would normally be a high power connection and would direct however many watts to your bed. In this instance, all it is is a little control. So it's very low power, it connects in there and just turns on the SSR and the SSR and then controls the mains to the control board. Uh, the SSR controls the mains power to the silicon heater. So that's that for heater. At the other side of here, so you remember we had in here two blues and two reds, <laughs> two blues and two browns. I cannot speak today for toffee. So the bed comes in one side and the blue comes through here, through here and out the other side. The brown just comes directly through. These come through this wire into our power supply control box. Let's take a closer look at that power supply control box. So this is the power supply control box. Up here, these four reds, you have the positives and negatives, so two positive and two negative, and they come out to your connector. This is the one for the ramps, but they'd be to whatever, what, to whatever control board or LEDs or any other auxiliary power that you want. They're a constant 12 volts. There's a little adjustment on the power supply if it's not quite 12 volts and you wish to adjust it. Down here, you have your earth, uh, neutral and live, and that's the, obviously, yellow, green, blues and browns. So this wire that came from the SSR comes in through this hole in the bottom. That comes then directly into these 
brown and blue live in neutral terminals. You can see there's two wires that go into that terminal because we want live to the power supply and also the same live to the SSR and thus the heated bed. So the other two, brown and blue, come from the power switch. But if you do use these connectors, make sure you get the ones that go all the way over. Don't use the part covered ones because it's not as safe. Go for these full cover ones. Uh, so yes, from this power switch, you've obviously got the live and neutral and obviously the earth. The earth comes to the earth, which also comes for the bed earth. So let's go through now how the power switch is wired up. On the front side, you'll be able to see three prongs, hopefully. I'm pretty sure all countries have three prongs, surely. So you've got the ground in the middle and then the live and neutral, a fuse in the middle and a switch at the top. The fuse should contain a fuse. It won't necessarily come with one, but you need to put a fuse in there because otherwise it won't do anything. Let's have a look at how it works. Ugh, it's impossible to get the right angle. So at the bottom here, you can see the other side of the plug. So you have your blue, the neutral, the yellow or green at the bottom, or well, the far right side, which is the earth, and then the brown live connection on the well, this one you can't see the connection, it's another, it's a sort of pass-through connection. So that metal plate at the bottom there, that goes from the, that's the live input across to the fuse. So that fuse then goes upwards to the brown connection, and that brown connection then jumps across to the switch. Across the other side of the switch, you can see the brown connection come out again, and that's the one that goes to the power supply. Following the blue connection, that comes in, jumps across to the switch, and goes directly to the power supply. Note that the blue is not connected to the fuse. The fuse is just through the brown. Hopefully that's clear. And then the ground connection you can see comes in the bottom, and that just goes directly to the power supply. There's no switch, it's always on. It's not, because there's no electricity. The, the point of the earth is to ground any power or current flow in the event that something goes wrong. So it always has to be connected to ground. Don't try and put the ground through the switch or anything. That's just gonna, just, just don't. Hopefully that does explain somewhat how the electronics are wired up. Obviously this connection at the top is what you connect to your control board, ramps, rearm, duet, smoothie, whatever you wanna use. And that's pretty much that. So to finish this video, for actually mounting the bed, all you need is the parts listed on the drawing, which are some screws and springs. I'm pretty sure I've gone through how this works before. But you want to slip your bed up through the bottom, like this. And then, I mean, I'm only going to use three because I like that three-point leveling, but you can use four if you want. That comes through the top like that. Can you see? His fingers in there. That comes through the hole in the bottom. And then the nut comes up from the bottom. Oopsie daisy. Come on. There you go. Nut comes up from the bottom and tightens it. It's a bit more difficult to tighten to begin with, but once the springs put some tension on it, you can just tighten it with the Thumb up. You can do all three, I don't need to show you how that is pretty simple. So that now covers all the beds, how to mount it, the power control circuit, the power supply, and how that all connects into the control board as well. In the next video, we'll probably go through some more of the electronics, we'll have them on the end stops, and some other things like that. Yes, let's do that. Okay, bye bye.